Hello and welcome to the Sports and GT channel or if you've uh, already subscribed, if you're one of the nearly 3,000 that's already subscribed, welcome back. And today I'm here at the Classic Motor Hub in Bybury with Porsche 928 UK Group who are having a little annual get together. Uh, I think there's about 30 cars here, I've not looked around them yet, but uh, I'm going to look around them and, and see if I can kind of trace a little bit of the history of, uh, of the Porsche 928. <laughs> So I've never particularly been a Porsche fanboy and certainly the 911s didn't really interest me because largely because there's so many of them around. But the one car that has always stood out for me that Porsche made and that I always quite fancied was the Porsche 928. So the Porsche 928 uh, was a, always a 2 plus 2 Grand Touring car with transaxle, so front engine and, and a sort of transaxle gearbox. It was the first design that Porsche had from from a clean sheet if you like. Their previous models were all based on something else or heavily influenced by something else or working with Volkswagen for example. Um, and it was seen as a potential replacement for the 911. So it wasn't really a, you know destined to be the replacement but it was one of the things that was considered because in the sort of early to mid 70s there was a bit of a slump in sales of the 911 and they also felt that the particular way that it was set up with the rear, very rear engine uh, the sort of performance limit had been reached. So they went about sort of looking for a, a replacement design. And they settled on an engine which is an all alloy V8 and fuel injection. Interestingly the design, uh, which was a guy called Wolfgang Merbius, working under Anatoly Lapine, took inspiration from or inspired by the Chevrolet Testudo which was a concept car obviously built for Chevrolet or designed for Chevrolet by the Batone styling house and by one Giorgetto Gigiaro, who I'm obviously a bit of a fanboy of having a, uh, having a Lotus Esprit. Porsche 928 actually won the European car of the year in uh, I think it was 1978 and to this day it's the only sports car to have won that accolade. Uh, all the others tended to have been family cars, small hatchbacks and the like. But it's nice to see all these Porsche 928s together. Uh, often referred to as land sharks, largely because of this sort of pointy shark nose and the eyes that are sort of recessed into the, into the bonnet there. So just having a little quick look round, I can't see any original cars, any sort of original 928s. So the original car was a 4.5 litre uh, V8, 240 horsepower. In 1980 the 928S came along. Capacity was increased to 4.7 and the power went up quite considerably to 300 horsepower. Another 928S, another earlier one. So yeah the, the sort of difference is being this, this rubber kind of spoiler set up over the rear window. And then you see it front there, the front lip. Let's fast forward a few years to 1984 and the 928 S2, again 4.7 litre and another 10 horsepower, so 310 uh, Fertig or horsepower. Okay, so 1987 then, came the S4 and that had a 5 litre engine and again up by another 10 uh, horsepower so 320 horsepower and also at this point was where the kind of restyling happened so if you look at these two together you'll see that the front nose has changed the little nose panel changed slightly the lights are a bit more rounded into the lights and the other change in styling which really at the rear. Uh, obviously you've got things like spoilers, you know, rear wings coming on, but the yeah, the rear, the rear of the car, much more pointy, you see the, the rear lights are quite different. Um, change from the these sort of sectional lights. A much more rounded rump. You can see on this kind of angle you've got a sort of bit more of a bit more of an angle to it to sort of to modernise the lines a little bit. 1989. So 928 GT 
Again, five litres, 330 horsepower, limited slip diff and also manual only. So the GT was kind of halfway between the S4 and the, and the full club sport. So it was lighter weight, but uh, it had a few more refinements. So I'm sitting here in the Porsche 928 GT that uh, belongs to my friend. Very comfortable seats, and if you can see, kind of there, look, you've got uh, really deep seats. It's a, it's a bit like sitting in a, a maxi cozy child car seat. It's you know really snug in there, um, but uh, yeah, quite comfortable. It's limited leg room for me. I think in the passenger seat, it looks like the, there's something, yeah, shorter, um, yeah, shorter footwell than on the driver's side, but uh, yeah, still a comfortable car. So finally, to uh, complete the picture then, 1992 onwards, it's the 928 GTS. So big leap in engine size to 5.4 litres, and we're up to 350 horsepower. And again, so a few styling changes, most notably compared to what I think is a, um, is it an S4 or a GT next to it, is uh, the flare, flared arches at the back. It's a very slight flaring, it's not massively different, but... So there you go, a quick walk through the chronology of the Porsche 928. As ever, don't forget to like the video, leave me a comment and of course subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.